In this video, we will learn how to install Streamlit in Anaconda. So here I will show you two different ways to install this Streamlit. The first one is through Anaconda Navigator and the second one is through the Anaconda Prompt or the Terminal. So here I have opened my Anaconda Navigator and now to install Streamlit, first of all, we will click on this environments. Then here we will see all the environments which we have created through Anaconda. So now first we will create a virtual environment for our project because it is recommended to have a separate virtual environment for each of the project. So we will also create the virtual environment first and then we will install the Streamlit library inside that created environment. But in case you already have the virtual environment created for your project then you can skip the creation part and select the relevant environment from this list and install the Streamlit library inside that environment. Now to create the virtual environment first we will click on this create then this dialog box will come up and here we will give the name of the virtual environment. So I will type Streamlit underscore env. So this is the name of the virtual environment which we want to create here. Now from here we can select the programming language and this python would be selected by default. And from this drop down we can change the python version. So whatever version we will select from here it will install that particular version in this new environment. So for now I will keep this as it is and finally click on this create. So now the environment is being created. So let's wait for some time here. And now it is loading some base packages in this new environment. So finally it is finished now and we can see our environment in this list. Now here this environment is already selected for me but if in case it is not selected for you then click on this and select this environment manually otherwise the streamlit library would not be installed in this environment. Now we will click on this drop down and here by default this installed option would be selected already which means that these are the libraries which are currently installed in this selected environment. So now I will close this drop down and search for streamlit in this search option. So here we can see that we did not get anything in this search result because this streamlit library is not installed currently in this selected environment. So now we will again click on this drop down and this time we will select this not installed option. So as soon as we selected that this not installed option we will see all the libraries here which has streamlit either in the name or in the description. And this is the streamlit library which we want to install here. So we will select this from here and click on this apply. Now we will get this type of dialog box which is saying that 98 packages will be installed. And if I scroll down to the last then we will have this streamlit library which we want to install and all the other libraries are the dependent packages of this streamlit. So that's why they are marked with this star. And here also it is written that this star indicates that this package is a dependency of the selected package and now finally we will click on this apply so it will start the installation and now the installation is completed so let's verify the installation and for that we will again click on this drop down and select this installed option and here we already have this streamlit in the search option so this time we can see this streamlit library here which was not present earlier so this is the evidence that this streamlit is installed successfully in this selected environment now we will see the another way of installing streamlit which is through anaconda prompt or the terminal. So if we are using windows then it would be the anaconda prompt and in case of mac it will be terminal. But these steps which I am going to show here that will work exactly in the same way for both anaconda prompt and the terminal. So now I will open the terminal because for my case it is the mac system. Now once you open the terminal or the anaconda prompt this base environment would be already activated. And now here also we will first create the virtual environment and then we will install the streamlit library inside that created environment. So to create the environment we will type conda space create space hyphen hyphen name space and now we will type the name of the virtual environment which we want to create. So let's say this is streamlit underscore new env and now at the last we will type space again then python equals to and now we will provide the python version which we want to install in this new environment. So for now I will type 3.13 which is the latest version as of now and finally we will hit enter. And now here it is saying that these many packages will be installed in this new environment. So we will type y here and hit enter and finally it is completed now. So our environment should be created. So let's verify that and for that we will list down all the environments which are managed by anaconda. So we will type conda space env space list and hit enter. 
So here we can see that our new environment is also present in this list, which was this streamlit underscore new env. So it means our environment is created successfully. Now we will activate this environment, but before that, let me clear the terminal once so that it would be better visible to you. And now to activate the environment, we will type conda space activate space and the name of the environment, which was streamlit then underscore new env and hit enter. So as soon as the command is executed, we will see this streamlit underscore new env within these brackets, which means that this particular environment is currently active. And now finally, we will install the streamlit library in this activated environment. So for that, we will type pip space install space streamlit and hit enter. And once this is installed, we will see this message of successful installation. Now I will again clear the terminal and now we will verify the installation. So let's print all the libraries that are currently installed in the current activated environment. So we will run this command, which is conda space list and hit enter. So here we will see this streamlit library, which has this particular version. Now there is one another way to verify the installation. And for that, we will type streamlit then space hello and hit enter. So it has opened one default streamlit page on my default browser. So it means the streamlit library is successfully installed in my environment. And now we will quickly try to import this streamlit library in the Python shell. So I will again go to the terminal. And here I will close this app with control C and let me clear the terminal for better visibility. And now we will type Python here. So we are in the Python shell now and here we will import the streamlit library. So we will type import then space streamlit and hit enter. So the import was successful without any error. And now we will also print the version of streamlit. So we will type print then streamlit dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore and hit enter. So here we have got the version also in the output. So it means that this streamlit library is installed successfully in our environment. Now let me know in comments if this video was useful to you and make sure to hit the like button. And for free courses, you can also refer the video description.